Hello everyone, Kundes here and welcome to another episode of this Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 Sparta Byzantine Empire. Where in this episode, after much searching and being unable to actually use my other DLCs with an old copy of uh, Crusader Kings 2 that was still on 1.092, I was still unable to use Legacy of Rome and there was some weird way to make it work but I wasn't exactly sure how to do it and I didn't want to like, like spend hours trying to figure that out so I took a random chance I copied my save and decided to try loading it in 1.10 with the old gods active fortunately at a glance it seems nothing has exploded which is a great thing because it means we can actually play on the old gods expansion um, of note these peasant revolts should actually have a leader I haven't tried on pausing yet so Maybe these Peasants' Revolts will work like the old Peasants' Revolts, and then new Peasants' Revolts will be the actual really problematic ones I actually need to care about. So I'll probably just keep things as they are right now for these Peasants' Revolts. Um, of interesting note, there's a new action to organize the Varangian Guard, which I had been using for a while, so I'll just do it. So the Varangian Guard, the Varangian Raiders, sailing from the distant north down the rivers leading into the Black Sea, have proven themselves to be formidable warriors. You've managed to recruit a great many of their numbers into a personal guard loyal only to Basilius. This new Varangian Guard will not only form a powerful shock force against the Empire's many enemies, but their foreign roots should also preclude them from becoming too entangled in the palace intrigue and power struggles that are so commonplace in Constantinople. They shall serve me well. Indeed. So, one thing done. Uh, we'll still lose Kingdom of Ireland to my brother. My brother still hasn't killed over either. My brother's also a tough bastard at the age of 80 and he's a Catholic hair. <laughs> what? Wait, I might be able to solve a problem. Because he's. Uh, I can't imprison him. Because he's a filthy heretic. Um, he's not in my court either. He's in. Do Isaac of Isakios of meat? No wonder um, he's over there. All right. So maybe I want to assassinate him. We'll figure that out after we. Oh, Trondolag is becoming huge, and we'll probably soon usurp all of Norway. The, well, the kingdom of Norway at least, which would not be good. Not be good at all. But maybe, maybe. Maybe. Oh, look! The fact that Catholics are heresies now makes it a red cross. Interesting discovery. Also, of note for 3.10, or 3.10, 1.10, is those little rivers here that are completely irrelevant to anyone but the Norse, and of course we're so far out that the Norse no longer exist. Um, there's black counties here, uh, Roslav and Lepiel, which were just not there before, I believe, uh, this thing got split two into two things. Um, Amalfi showed up down here, which is a republic at the start date of 867. I'm guessing this is the result of like the save file being afflicted. Um, yeah, we'll see how well that goes. Uh, if it fixes itself, or if we can just ignore it, then we'll keep going, but otherwise we may have to go without the... Without the expansions! Which would be a shame for this Let's Play, because all of our expansion goals were so centered around the old gods. Um, I can't even click on Amalfi. Nepalis de Jours, these two things, okay. Um... Sure, it includes the county of Amalfi, which apparently already exists. But it targets Neapolis. So this already looks like a funny bug. Maybe it'll fix itself. Hopefully it will once we unpause. Um, I just want to make sure. Uh, some vassal has left my court to create the thing. He's still in my court. I'm pretty sure. Norse! Alright, and he's still, uh, 
right here with his little legion that costs peanuts to hire and gives me a decent stack. Um, we're currently in the middle of a war for Silesia. Uh, Polish holy war for Silesia, so we'll let Poland win that. Hopefully Gregoras the Saint will die soon, because seriously, the guy's 82. Can we, like, please play his... His grandson Hare, who's already 34. Also is kind of crappy. What did... Oh, he became cruel for some reason. This would be a bad thing, aside from the fact it's brilliant in combat. Wants to improve his martial ability as as he should as a Spartan. Make him an important character, just because we can! I mean, he is our heir, after all. Um, his heir is Prince Basileos of Poland, German Orthodox, which we'll see if we can educate. Because I don't want that kid... Um, being, like, German. I want to un-Germanize the Empire. Fuse child being a foreign power, but you're my hair! You traitor. Fine, I'll just have to assassinate all your kids. Um, because that's how I solve problems. Oh, she's a holy warrior. Interesting. My niece is a holy warrior. For Jesus! Okay. It's a minor thing. I also noticed in, again, in between my videos, this guy's orthodox, the other guy was. Um, Catholic. I think the way it works is that he's the heir because he's from the same family. Whoops. I don't know. Beltrano of Anglerio, who's Catholic. His entire family was Catholic. He became Orthodox. Can I... Is there a way I can click on Genoa and maybe see, like... The Republic, like the state of the Republic. Uh, how's Rachel this? You. You are a Catholic. Which means your family's Italian Catholic. Unfortunately, these guys are dead. This is sad. Uh, how's Di Bergano? bunch of guys. Patrician became a celibate and his Italian Orthodox and the other family produced uh, Grand Mayor of Tunis who is Catholic. They're both Catholic. Well, this guy is now Catholic. Serves a Catholic patrician. House Colenoni. So maybe at some point if we assassinate them enough We'll have uh, Catholic people in power again, so we can keep holy warring them. That's an interesting um, option here. Who's this spy master anyway? If we want to do that, we'll look at that later. Um, for now, one thing I should do is unpause and see if anything explodes. Apparently, I still hold one too many counties. I don't want to give Rome away. I don't want to give any of those counties away. I just have to suck it up with my shitty stewardship. Oh, and they also remastered technology, which, um... Yeah, so... Technology is good. We're actually going to be looking at technology this game. Like, impressive. I want to... Get legalism up much more. I'm guessing that's also why I lost, um... Made the main size thing, because legalism was a 3 out of 5, and now it's a 3 out of, uh, 8. Which means I'm missing things. Um, yeah, I need legalism six to be where I was to gain an extra domain bonus as an emperor. I'm gonna need to generate a little culture. Our military advances suck by comparison. All right, and uh, I believe we wanted to start wars because warring is what we do, right? Are you at war with anyone? No? Would you vassalize? No, oh, he's an historian. We can just holy war his face. 
as the filthy Nestorian that he is. So we'll do that. Get rid of a Nestorian guy. Um, the Elkanat, the Hashimid. We may want the Holy War, the Hashimid, eventually. There's not power in the Hashimid anyway. Where are they ruling from? Um, you. It's here. Yeah, that's nice. Thanks for telling me. But where's his capital? Where is his capital? I don't want the jour. The old random county somewhere. Can't figure out where he hid his capital. Uh, hmm. All right. I don't know where the Hashimid capital is. Slightly troubling, but largely irrelevant. Um. We got that. Guessing attacking this guy would be a truce breaking. No, it's not. Huh. Well, alright. We'll see if we can get another claim there. That would be nice. Um. Alright, that's enough dilly dallying. Let's uh, unpause this. Oh, oh, oh! As expected, all the black counties have now filled. Uh, my nephews left my court for the Duchy of Meat. Amalfi now has a person per in charge. It was just awarded to this guy. Alright. So we gain an extra county, randomly, for free! Alright. Bonus. Actually, yeah, that's kind of funny. What is the de jure barriers of the Byzantine Empire right now? Oh, it's still that. It hasn't uh, de jure drifted. Things have... Oh, wait, no, that's not true. That's hilarious. These things here are no longer considered de jure part of the Byzantine Empire. Probably because they weren't for too long. Huh. Alright, then. Ireland is not part of the Byzantine Empire de jure either. Okay. How many troops can Trondolag muster? Mm, not enough to face the English stack. Yeah. <laughs> the English could take out Trondolag on their own. What about Scotland? Scotland is Catholic. Scotland is Catholic! Let's just make a little war on Scotland. Albany, uh, the Isle, Galloway is only two duchies, Moray, Moray has mostly orthodox guys there, so I'm gonna keep Moray intact, I think I'm just gonna go for her, there's Scottish orthodox as well, Scottish Catholic, um, what about the Isle? The Isles are still very much in control of the king. Alright, and Arc is ours, of course. Oh, so if I holy war for the Isles, get two islands, and well I diminish the power of the Actually no, I want the Catholic monarch to stay in power. So I should undermine his orthodox powers. Moray. I think that's what I was thinking last time, too. So I'm gonna Holy War for Moray. Yeah. We're gonna Holy War Moray. Let's go! Holy War Moray, and we're gonna Holy War Trondolag. Marland is just one thing, Vestland is just one thing. Can't holy war further than that. That's largely disappointing. Gentland. You're Norwegian Orthodox. I don't have a valid reason, but don't isn't the king of Norway my vassal? Isn't this de jure Norway? Can I declare war in his name? 
apparently I can't. Uh, Norwegian Catholic. Holy War for Vestlandet. What about the Hansa? The Hansa is Waldensian. Um. Okay. And the Hansa is spreading very much. The Hansa started blobbing just like Genoa. Oh, how annoying you republics are. Three little boars here. I guess that's a good start. Calm. German Orthodox. Will you vassalize? Not the Jure Liege foreign culture. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Lotharingia. Verdun. They're all German Orthodox. Wait, they're all German Orthodox? Uh, I think someone's holy warring you. Mm, Bruno's claim on the... They're still Catholics, so you're still pushing for a Catholic ruler. Alright. Bertold. Catholics, so many people are just going at it. Uh, oh, right! We wanted possibly to keep murdering these people. He's married to my kinsman. Uh, what's her family like? Can I check her family tree? Um, P.S. So she's from Poland. Uh... Other side, there's no. Conrad, Roger of Hungary, Roger of Hungary, you sired King Bernard the Great. Who is she? She was a dual queen. And she married Berengar, the heel ruler, who was the king of Burgundy. So your line with her is what we're actually looking for. Roger of Hungary. That's that's far, man. That that's that's really far. A lot of those people are dead. Yeah, that's a hundred years ago. We're trying to re reunite kingdoms that broke apart. Uh, yeah, you only had Burgundy and Hungary, because apparently you lost Poland. You regained Poland, but you lost Hungary. Bernard the Great of Hungary was a German Catholic. And Duke Roger of Province, who was okay. We found the link. How many people do we murder? Um, from you? Conrad of Burgundy. We'll need to murder you, all of your children, your sister, her daughter. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven murders. To then go. Proceed downward. Four more murders. We need 11 murders. 12, 13, 14, 15. And all this family. There's too many people. There are just too many people in between the two. The claim is muddled. I think Burgundy's a lost cause. I think we murdered all these people for nothing. I mean, it's not a lost cause, it's still possible to do it through, like, innumerable quantities of murder. 
but that's gonna take a while. How's the Roman Empire's army doing? Oh. He's pretty much fallen apart. Um, we'll wait until their civil wars are over. Actually, we'll wait until we die before tackling on some big fish like that. Like this, Birlad. Um, Ten retinues, yeah. Mm, current retinue cap usage, 56k. Mm, we're currently using 17k, 17.5k. Oh, maximum retinue cap has been reached. Alright. Also, I figured out what's this random uh, 500 retinue that I have here, and it's this retinue that I probably acquired. Um, yeah, I'll just bend these roofs. Maybe I can make one more retinue out of the deal. Um, no, we cannot. Alright. Oh, I'm guessing it's also because my retinue cap usage was reduced because we don't have military organization that is high enough. So we need to produce those points. Research! In the meantime, we have our retinue. We're gonna have it go win. Why are you Catholic? You traitor! Let's go talk to him. Give him a gift. And uh... Wait, but who's this guy? Oh, he's with the Ecumenical Patriarch? Well, for some reason he can lead my troops. I'm guessing I can pull in the people from my... Oh. Yeah, I'm guessing I can pull in the people from my vassals now to lead my armies. This will make finding competent leaders maybe a little bit easier. Go, my retinue, go conquer that. So that'll take care of that war. Um, that's Birlad. Silesia will be won on its own. Because right now the King of Poland is sufficiently powerful. Uh, let's go kill Scotland. Oh, that's the Galician army. Alright. Still sufficient. Get on the boat, you Galicians. Let's get these guys led by uh, competent leaders of men. That'll do. Oh, right, and now armies spawn with like no morale. Joys of the old gods. Burgundy proved medium with crown authority. Not that it matters. Let's drop that here. A greeting of violence. Instant victory. Fifty clerk. Fetch English troops. It's like the only war we need to care about right now. Our war for Scotland. They have a surprising amount of troops at their disposal. Let's drop that there. Should probably fetch the Irishman as well. Good old trusty Irishman. Where would I be without you guys? Another dead stack that's gonna oh, we captured the Earl the Earl of Butchen. Alright. Where's the Earl of Butchen for from Oh he's here. Earl Simon of Butchen. Oh he is a Scottish Catholic, eh? We're gonna keep him in prison. 
He looked nice there. Not sure how we captured him, but okay. Uh, something happy happened. Excellent. Uh, Velasco was in trouble again. Zillius Gregorius was scolding Velasco about his slothfulness and failure to do his chores. I interfered and made it sound like it was my fault Velasco hadn't been able to do his chores. Oh, Velasco thanked me profusely and we became fast friends. Excellent! The fact that I'm friends with him means I'll be able to convert him once he uh, becomes an adult. And this is excellent. Because we will have a Greek Orthodox Jimena reigning in Spain. Uh, Battle of Suri. Where did we kill that many troops? Oh no. The Scottish stack has caught up to our stack. Uh, this is too much to fit in the current existing boats. So let's get more boats. Yeah, that battle was lost, but that's okay. The Irishmen are coming! Give them good leaders that are not me. Like all of these people. So, why is. Did I just see this right? Yeah, he's an Anglo Saxon Catholic. Here, take some money and convert. Oh, he's chasing my armies gonna have a penalty. Yeah, bring it. On the siege of Glow Glow, taking control of the holding from Count. Alright. Not sure why I see that, but okay. Ha! Huh. Surprise! Irish Doomstack says hi! I'm surprised we're taking so much damage. It's probably because the guys who were already there were like running away in fear. We had to make up for Excellent! Now let's do something funny. Get in the boats! Get out of the boats! Oh, we didn't intercept him. But that's okay, we'll still break him. Because he has no morale. Now he has no armies. Excellent. We don't need these boats anymore. We're gonna dismiss them. Surrey has converted to orthodoxy. What's the religious map looking like? It's looking more and more orthodox by the day. Ephesos? What religion is that? Egyptian orthodox. Why is it white? Athenai. Athenai. Do we still. Do we finally control. No. What? Mosque of Amphisa? Who the hell are you? He's independent. He could be, like, knocked out at any point. Well, minus the fact that, uh... Alright. Well, we'll look into that later. That's a minor detail. That is an entirely minor detail. We have bigger fish to fry. And that fish is called Scotland. Now, as I expected, Poland, or Hungary, Poland, my good nephew is winning his war. The Jihad for Armenia fails! The greatest, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Caliph Akbar has called off the Jihad for Armenia against Kagan Changan of Golden Horde. Pathetic. Well, yeah, the Golden Horde also still has its doom stack. Uh, apparently you hate my face because you're a heretic and zealous. That's okay. 
some point I'll come and kick your ass. Unfortunately, you'll have a much more stable realm than I do when that happens. Um, you have a really crappy Spymaster score. 